I see this kind of video all the time in different channels I follow and I realize I need to do one too. It's going to be in English because I believe I need to address a few things, especially for my English speaking audience. Uh, I, I feel I need to start from the beginning. So YouTube, why did this channel start in the first place? Well, uh, 17 years old me was playing Project Realities non-stop basically i always like fps games but project reality or pa for shorts got me hooked bad i was playing this all the time youtube was already a big thing and i wanted to share with my other online friends how amazing this game or more specifically how amazing this mod was for battlefield 2. that's why i decided to record and make videos since it was an unknown mod, most of the PR servers were from North America. There were European servers, but my ping would not allow me to play there. So that's why I started recording English mainly. From PR, I started playing many other realistic military games, especially Arma 2, Arma 3, and later on Squad. Since it's a niche market for this kind of games, I kept producing stuff mainly in English. But this type of game started to get popular in my country, Brazil, in case you don't know yet. And videos in Portuguese became more common. Then in my life, Airsoft happened. As I recorded my virtual games, I really wanted to record my Airsoft games. I also made a lot of friends playing Airsoft and also a lot of videos which were, of course, in Portuguese. Airsoft was becoming the main material in my videos and more frequent than virtual games until COVID happened and games basically disappeared. Airsoft events got cancelled, fields got closed, and I managed to go in one or other game during this time, but it was always complicated, it was always risky. Then my next and current chapter started, Flight Simulation, more specifically DCS. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about it to myself and to anybody still willing to listen. Well, I like planes, I like them a lot. I played many class simulators from the 90s and early 2000s. I wanted to fly DCS but I never had the por a powerful PC and a good peripherals to play it properly. But today I can play DCS. I have a good PC, a good joystick, and I was lucky enough to land in a really awesome group of people who are also DCS enthusiasts. I'm having a blast playing with them, I, I can't thank them enough for being themselves. I feel great making DCS videos and also receive a lot of positive feedback from the public in general. This also brought a lot of new subscribers for this channel. Well, so why did I want to make this video in the first place? To talk to you, to listen to you. I want to hear your feedback. I want you to tell me what you want. I feel like I've been neglecting half of my audience, but I don't want to do that. Most of the videos in Portuguese I try to make English subtitles for them, but I don't think that's enough. Or at least I feel like it doesn't appeal as much as a video made full in English. Currently, I feel divided. I miss making videos for a broader audience, but also I like making DCS material in Portuguese because as other games I mentioned earlier, the number of players and the community is growing too. I feel there is a big lack of material for this audience, especially tutorials explaining the basics of DCS. Again, my current situation, the duality of my mere existence. I like what I'm doing currently, but also I want to make more stuff in English again. Even if it's not broken English or rusty because it's hard to speak English in here. Uh, the biggest problem is I don't have much time. I'm not a YouTuber with all day to just play games and make videos, so I had to choose this limited time. And currently, I have a good time making DCS videos. I hope you guys understand that. Well, this video is for you, for whatever place in this world you are. You who subscribed to this channel a long time ago or shortly ago, and I you're asking yourself what the fuck is this channel I subscribe to? Uh, why do I have this guy publishing videos in my timeline in a language I can't even understand? Well, 
this is it. This is me. I hope this video brings a little bit more of comprehension to you. Uh, if you don't want it, you keep subscribed to this channel. I won't be sad. Uh, you can go there and, and subscribe. I do that all the time. If I discover a channel and subscribe, but then they change, they start publishing content that I don't like that much, I don't subscribe. It's okay. But if you do keep subscribed, I hope you understand what's going on right now. I, I haven't forgotten you. Uh, the biggest chunk of my public, as I called earlier, there are chapters in my life. I can tell the next chapter. Maybe this channel blows up and you tell your friends, I knew this guy before even he had 10,000 subscribers. Um, maybe it will die next week. I don't know. It's I, I can give you promises what is going to happen next. But it's just a short video to remind you I haven't forgotten. I, I hope to make more videos in English. Well, this is it. I think I took way too much time of your life with this small rant. Um, have a good day and see ya.